Setsuko Thurlow? Yes. I saw suddenly the bluish white flash outside the window. And then I had the sensation of floating in the air like most of the buildings in the city. That building I was in was collapsing. My body was thrown. I don't remember what happened, but when I regained the consciousness in the total darkness and silence, I found myself pinned by the collapsed building. I tried to move my body, but I couldn't, so I knew I was faced with death. Then all of a sudden, somebody started shaking my back and said, the male voice said, don't give, don't give up, keep pushing, keep moving. I'm trying to help you crawl out of this place quickly. And that's what I did. The attack took place at 8.15 in the morning, but it was already very dark because of all the smoke and soot and particles and dirt in the air which were being sucked up into the rising mushroom cloud. Because of the blast, people's hair just stood up towards the sky and the people were just slowly shuffling, shuffling from the center of the city to the nearby hill, like this. And the skin and flesh were hanging from their bones. All night, we watched the entire city burn. Atomic bomb had this terrific destructive power, flattening, flattening all the buildings. And then the heat burned out most of the buildings. But last thing, which is very scary, that's the effect of radiation. <coughs> that's the unique things about nuclear weapon. You can't see it, you can't smell it, but that penetrates inside your body. They didn't lose their arms. Some people who didn't lose the arms, so no external injury. They started dying. We wondered what was happening to them. They look all right. They had the arms and legs. But radiation already affected their internal organs. By the end of 1945, 140,000 people perished. But does that grab you? Do you understand? 140,000 people? But this way, I thought maybe you can get the more intimate sense. You see, this is the listing of the girls in grade 7 and 8 in my school. The total of 351 students were killed. You see, this one line, first name, the family name, and the personal name. So each line means one individual, one friend. I can visualize their face and the voices. I just wanted you to know that each one of those people had a name and was loved, not just the statistics. We simply have to learn to resolve the differences through negotiation, through talking, through communication. Killing each other, shooting each other is not the right solution. I want you to study and think 
Unless you do that, you don't know what's going on around the world. And when you begin to see what's going on, be very critical. I want you to be critical thinker. Don't just swallow everything you hear. Just study it. And when you have the conviction, communicate that conviction with whoever is making decisions on your lives, on your state, on your nation, and on the world. And U.S. has a very important role to play. The world is looking at you with expectation. You have the power. You'll be voting shortly. You must be good citizen. Use your power and have good leadership. And let's work toward abolition, elimination of all the nuclear weapons. That's the only way to ensure security for humanity. Thank you.